everyone. Welcome, welcome to my Periscope this evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for joining me. Welcome. I am very happy to be with you tonight and launch. Welcome, Holly. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Welcome. I believe I saw Mark maybe join in. Thank you for joining all. Ricky, thank you for joining. Thank you, thank you everyone for being here tonight with me. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Denise and I am a sexuality empowerment coach and work with individuals and couples really to, to tap into their full expression of their sexuality and live the life that they want. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the heart. I invite you all to share with your friends and followers um, my Periscope to get as many people on here as possible and tonight we are actually launching the first of seven classes or, or scopes that will be focused on the chakras so that is what we are doing um, this week so I, I intended to start yesterday and for some reason yesterday I decided to talk about dating <laughs> and it turned out to be some really um, passionate discussions with, with you all. So thank you to those who joined last night as well. So today I'm and this week we're really focusing on the chakras because of all of the energetic energies, the shifts that are happening. Um, the vibration of, of moving into action and releasing the past. And really, um, I wanted to start really from the root up because it's like, it's like laying the foundation for a house. Um, your, your chakra system works really in the same way as a house does, where if, if the base is weak, right, if our root chakra um, is weak, then we're really um, not able to reinforce the rest of the chakras. So if you're wondering where, like what is your, what are chakras, what, what is um, the root chakra, chakras are energy centers. And I wanna talk primarily about the seven main chakras. And, and these are the main chakras because they are the chakras that are connected to our physical um, realm, right? To, to the 3D dimension. We have other chakra centers um, uh, throughout our body, but these are really the, the seven main ones and they run down the spine. So when you're thinking of the root chakra, the color that you should think of is red. Um, so red is the color and the three first vertebrae are the three vertebrae that are, are included in the root chakra. So the root chakra, if you're looking at your body, it's the floor of your pelvis, right? And, and it goes all the way down to, to your feet, through your feet, right? So our root chakra is what keeps us grounded. Our root chakra connects us to Mother Earth. Right, so it's no surprise that the element of the root chakra is earth. Right, and it's at the base of the spine. Some of the things that are coming up that I should really, that I want to talk about with the root chakra are when you're a child, right, the root chakra is really associated with how safe we feel. And, and, and this safety really starts when we're, when we're children, right? So how safe you felt as a child might still be influencing and maybe perhaps blocking the flow of your root chakra. And this is specific, you know, I want to hone in on this because what, what's coming through me, you know, for, for all of us is that we really need to ground ourselves and let go of all of that um, lack of safety that we felt as children, right? A lot of us have had, you know, messed up childhoods 
or you know we moved around a lot or something drastic happened during our childhood where we felt unsafe and that energy is still like in our physical body so what we're really being called to do in this month you know this week this this time in the cosmic universe is to release all of that past um, lack of security right so when we talk about security we're talking about your basic needs being met and as a child one of those needs is also the need for love affection attention um, and that's usually one of the biggest you, you know sore sore points for people who are out of balance with the root chakra so I really want us all to hone in on on that sometimes even if you had some traumatic birthing process a traumatic birthing process that might also influence um, the strength of your root chakra right now this is so important thank you thank you Hallie I'm glad you're enjoying it um, you know so often too like if you're in survival mode that also comes up, right? If you're constantly in fight or flight mode, that has to do with your root chakra. So I'm, I'm sharing some of these so you can maybe tap into and, and gain awareness around, am I feeling this way, right? Am I constantly in anxiety? Am I constantly feeling unsafe? Um, am I feeling insecure? All of these are signs. I had a stroke for days after my son was born oh my god um yeah that's that's a traumatic experience and you know to birthing it's not just you know if if you're a mother if you're a parent if you had a traumatic birth that's also impacting your root chakra um because you know you're you're maybe feeling insecure what's coming what's coming up is you're you're feeling maybe an insecurity around the safety of your child um, and, and of yourself as well around that and you know there's some healing there that needs to, to that the space is being created for that right for that healing to happen um, money money definitely has to do with our root chakra right so if we're able to meet our necessities then there's that sense of security and if we're not, due to lack of money, financial struggles, that is associated with the root chakra. So when you are also balancing your root chakra, you know, don't be surprised that your finances are also going to become more imbalanced, right? Another area of our lives that is impacted by our root chakra is our health, right? So our health is really about how in, in tune we are with our body. So one of the ways that I love to balance my root chakra and, and encourage us all, this is both good for the physical body but also for our energetic body, is through physical movement. <clears throat> so whether that is dancing, yoga, tai chi, Pilates, cardio kickboxing, you know, whatever really um, lights you up is, is movement and, and really something that connects you to your body. Anything that connects you to your physical body is something that is grounding you and can really allow you to tap into your root chakra and heal. Another great thing about mother earth and, and nature is that nature in and of itself is very grounding for us. So when we connect with nature, for example, stepping outside and it's a little cold in New York, but stepping outside and, and rubbing your feet on the grass, you know, stepping outside and really taking in the sun energy, really, you know, engulfing ourselves in, in the beauty of a tree or a, a flower, all of that, when we are in that energy connected to Mother Earth, that is connecting us and grounding us 
to, to this plane, right, to the 3D dimension, which really connects us to our physical body and allows for healing to happen in the root chakra. So those are just a couple of things, you know, about the root chakra. I'd love to hear if anyone has any questions about the chakras. I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, but really honing in on connecting with, with who you are, right? With your physical body and allowing that healing to, to happen and manifest through, through you, for you. Um, and that energy, I'm, I'm, you know, I keep feeling it. It's such a powerful energy that is around us. It is here supporting us. And once we begin to really strengthen our root chakra, we can it actually, because it's the foundation, um, what are some things to do to boost this chakra? Yes, so some things to do is, like I said, connect with Mother Earth. Also, visualizing um, the color red. So having intentional vi visualizations with the color red. That's another um, very quick uh, and, and easy way to connect with your root chakra and actually do some healing. <clears throat> Also, another uh, really important thing to share with you all is that everything is vibration, right? You're, you're a frequency of vibration. You know, really, this is not solid. This is just different atoms moving at the same time at, in, in space and time, right? So similarly to that, song is, is the same. And when we chant, it's the same. So every every sound, every vowel, every every sound that we can possibly make has a vibration. So there's also sounds um, associated with our chakras. So one of the things that I do, and I will do it right now, so that we can all just um, get a little bit of that is. Um, Melissa is saying Ram, but Melissa, I, I thought it was Lam. Uh, I've been using Lam for the root chakra. Correct me if I'm wrong, love, as, as you also work with the chakras a lot. Um, so we can just chant out loud the word Lam. right? And feel that vibration, you know, really penetrating our root chakra, our soul. And it, and, and just for me doing it just one time, it really like, I felt the grounding happen. And I invite you all to do it at home right now to just chant the word Lam. So these are these are just a few things to really um, connect to your root chakra. They're they're simple and um, you know it doesn't take a lot of time, but they can really have a a huge impact on your healing process. Right, becoming more confident with your money, right? So managing your money, I know some of us just avoid it. I, I, I avoid it, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an avoider with that. Um, but connecting with your money also is something that strengthens your root chakra. So whatever that means to you, right? Whether it is budgeting or just looking at your balance every day, um, connecting with that is another, why is the root chakra important? So the root chakra is important because it's really the foundation of our energy system. So when we're, we're going through the process of healing, of transformation, of really being connected to who we are as spiritual beings having a human experience, and also if we're in the process of connecting to our sexuality, 
we need to have a strong foundation, right? And because the root chakra connects to our childhood, it's often, you know, when we are seeking the life that we want to create and experience, we want to ensure that the root chakra is open and allowing for us to meet our basic needs and to, to be healed from the past. So those are just some of the reasons, right, that the, the root chakra is really important. Um, and, it, it, and it is the first chakra and where a lot of our needs are being met. So I hope that you all enjoyed tonight's scope. Um, there is a lot, you know, to learn about the chakras and I encourage you all to continue watching. I will continue to offer uh, new insights every time I, I talk about them. And until tomorrow, I wish you all a passionate evening. Love you all too. Thank you, Miracles, for telling me you love me. I love you too. Um, thank you, thank you, everyone. And again, here at 9 p.m. every weeknight and 9 a.m. Monday through Friday with morning inspirations. Have a great night, y'all. Bye.